And should we, should we be so much worried about our, our, our debt rising? Well, I mean, I think that you, what you've read mm. uh, sort, of, uh, sort of contextualized the conversation. Uh, so you're looking at the overall uh, public debt. Mm. You're also looking at even our internal revenue mobilization going up. Uh, there's another story that you read which uh, pointed to the fact that uh, FDI has increased and in actually in the sub In West Africa. Um, Ghana is the, uh, the, the top destination for uh, foreign di direct investment. So that's, that's, that's where we have to take it from. I, and you also have to probably even go drill down to uh, exactly what these numbers are in terms of one, what the monies are being used for and the fact that <clears throat> we had to find a way of restructuring the debt stock that we had over a period because of the challenges that we had with uh, going to the IMF and all sorts of things. The good thing for me is the fact that uh, because of the rebasing of the uh, economy, we have a situation where uh, what most economies use as an indicator if an, uh, your, your debt is too high uh, points to the fact that the debt to GDP ratio is hovering around 55% or so. Uh, what it means is that we still have some fiscal space to be able to borrow, and the word is advisedly, borrow wisely mm. to be able to support uh, the work of government and also bring in uh, the necessary support and infrastructure for the ordinary people. Uh, so for me, I think that um, if you look at it from a bigger perspective as well, and all the indications point to an economy that's on the right trajectory. Um, you see, when we have this conversation surrounding the economy, it's almost difficult to not become a bit historical in terms of where we have come from. We've come from a situation where uh, we had to necessarily go through an IMF bailout uh, that pointed to the fact that the economy had been run aground um, and we essentially had to go to the IMF for a bailout. Now, over the period, within the last five, six years, uh, it was even impossible for us to be even able to meet the requirements for us to exit until this government came into, into office to be able to do all it can to be able to exit the IMF uh, 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 conditions that had been set. Now, you look at all of these things and you, it points to the fact that when you have a government had come in two and a half years and has been able to exit the IMF and has been able to grow the uh, agriculture sector, has been able to uh, execute a free SHS program, has been able to clear the debt of the National Health Authority, which was hanging on the sector, has been able to bring back the uh, teacher training allowance, the nursing training allowance, has been able to offer 100,000 young people who in hitherto didn't have an opportunity to, to find work, to work under NAPCO, and all the fantastic things that's happening at MassLock and all of those things, NEIP, um, what we have done with the uh, Sino Hydro um, butter agreement where we'll be able to use our bauxite to support our uh, infrastructure drive. That points to an economy and a government that is being run prudently and an economy that is on the right trajectory.